Hello there everybody, and welcome to my first ever Let's Play on my channel, One Gaming Shepherd. I am Shepherd, and as you saw, I'm playing Pokemon Emerald, but I'm going to be doing things a little bit differently than most normally would. I'm going to be doing a Nuzlocke challenge, and I'm going to put a little bit of a twist on it because this is an Emerald Randomizer Nuzlocke. Anyway, so we're just going to be uh, going through text here, I'm going to give him a voice. But everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. This is what we call a Pokemon. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon, at times as friendly playmates and at times as cooperative workmates. And sometimes we band together and battle others like us. But despite our closeness, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are many, many secrets surrounding Pokemon. To unravel Pokemon mysteries, I've been undertaking research. That's what I do. And you are... Are you a boy or are you a girl? I'm a boy. Alright, so let me just put my name in. Oh, no. Alright. And go to the lowercase, S-H-E-P-E-R-D. I can't fit my whole name in there just because of a one-letter difference, which is utterly stupid. Uh, okay, you're Shepard, who's moving to my hometown of Little Root. I get it now. Alright, are you ready? Your very own adventure is about to unfold. Take courage and leap into the world of Pokemon where dreams, adventure, and friendships await. Well, I'll be seeing you later in my... Come see me in my Pokemon lab. Alright, so here we are. We are starting our own adventure. It appears that someone has put me in a moving truck. Who bloody does that? Just... That's atrocious. Who would do that? All right, I'm going to try and give every single character that we run into, by that I mean every major character, a voice. Uh, for Mother, I don't really know. Shepard, we're here, honey. It must be tiring riding with our things in the moving truck. Well, this is Little Root Town. How do you like it? This is our new home. It has a quaint feel, but it seems to be an easy place to live, don't you think? And you get your own room, Shepard. Let's go inside. All right, there we go. See, Shepard? Isn't it nice in here, too? The Movers Pokemon do all the work of moving us in and cleaning up after. This is so convenient. Shepard, your room is upstairs. Go check it out, dear. Dad bought you a new clock to mark our move here. Don't forget to set it. Okay. Now, what I want to know is what is this guy doing? Well, he's just moving a box around, and he's not really going anywhere. This guy, what is he doing? I, I don't know. Someone please explain it. <laughs> Alright, so here we go, up into our room, and before I do anything else, I really need to do this because this is going to bug me for the whole episode if I don't fix it right now. Alright, now before we set the clock, I, l I always like to go over here and go into the item storage and we'll draw one free potion. Interesting, interesting bit of knowledge for you. Now, I'm playing this on an emulator because that's the only way you can do a randomizer Nuzlocke. And for those who don't know who a Nuzlocke challenge is, it's a set of rules. I'm going to be putting a link to the rule set in the description. Okay, so here we go. Mother's talking to us. Shepard, how do you like your new room? Good. Everything's put away neatly. They finished moving everything in and downstairs, too. 
Pokemon movers are so convenient. Oh, you should make sure that everything's all there on your desk. Alright, well, let's head downstairs. Oh, Shepard, Shepard, quick, come quickly. Mom, look. It, <laughs> look, it's Petalburg Gym. Maybe Dad will be on. We brought you this report from in front of the Petalburg Gym. Oh, it's over. I think Dad was on, but we missed him. Too bad. Oh, yes, one of Dad's friends lives in town. Professor Birch is his name. He lives right next door, so you should go over and introduce yourself. Alright, so let's head on out. And she said right next door, so you just gotta go over here. Into this house. We're just kind of breaking in. Oh, hello, and you are? It, you could say anything in this game just with silence. It's crazy. Oh, you're Shepard, our new next-door neighbor. Hi. We have a daughter about the same age as you. Our daughter was excited about making a new friend. Our daughter is upstairs, I think. Alright, so... Let's head upstairs. And... She lied to me. That is, unless their daughter's a Pokeball. That's kind of weird. Oh, no, wait. There she is. Huh? Uh, who? Oh, uh, wait. Hold on. Her voice, I'm gonna make her sound like butters to the best of my abilities. Uh, who, who are you? Oh, there's dots there. Oh, you're Shepard. Who the move was today? Uh, I'm May. Uh, glad to meet you. Uh, I have this trip to become friends with Pokemon all over the world. I heard about you, Shepard, from a day, Professor Birch. I was hoping that you would be nice, Shepard, and that we could be friends. Oh, this is silly, isn't it? I just met you, Shepard. <laughs> oh, no. I forgot. I was supposed to help. I was supposed to go help Dad catch some wild Pokemon. Uh, Shepard, I'll catch you later. Alright. I, I really want to know what's in this, but it's not going to let us take it. Sadly, because stealing is wrong, kids. They gotta, gotta give a good message to the kids. Um, hi. There are scary Pokemon inside. I can, I can hear their cries. I, wanna, I want to see what's going... It's freezing on me. But I don't have any Pokemon. Can you see what's happening? Alright, so we're just gonna go over here. Help, help me. This is Professor Birch. Hello, you over there. Please help. In my bag, there's a Pokeball. Alright. Okay, let's see what we got. So this is what I mean by randomizer. We got a Torkoal, a Diglett, and a Weezing. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Okay, uh... Out of the three, I kind of want Weezing. Let's go with Weezing. <laughs> Our first Pokemon is a Weezing, which is crazy. This thing is a Bouse. Oh, it's a... Okay. Uh, <laughs> Self-destruct. <laughs> uh, let's... let's do some Poison Gas. Oh, it missed. Dang it, Weezing. Uh, poison Gas, same type of attack bonus. Cu Why are you missing? That's it, man. I'm going to use Smog. Yeah, no, that didn't miss. I think we got that thing poisoned. No. Tackle. Now, if you got it like a wheezing, you don't expect to lose the first poke. You don't expect to lose the first battle, which is with a level two zigzagoon. Even then, it's just crazy. Now, wheezing's a pretty high level Pokemon. I'm actually surprised that I got one. Who? I was in tall grass studying wild Pokemon when I was jumped. You saved me. Thanks a lot. Oh, hi, you're Shepard. This is not the place to chat, so come back to my Pokemon. So come by my Pokemon la later, okay? And then we're just instantly there. So, Shepard, I've heard so much about you from your father. I've heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet, but the way you battled earlier, you pulled it off with a plum. I guess you have your father's blood in your veins after all. Oh, yes, as a thanks for rescuing me, I'd like you to have the Pokemon you used earlier. And there we go, we got our Weezing. Well, you're at it. Why not give a nickname to that Weezing? Uh, as stated by. Nuzlocke rules, I have to. Uh, okay, um... I'm gonna name it Betty. Because Weezing's a smoker Pokemon. I'm gonna name it Betty. <laughs> <laughs> it makes it even better because it's a female Weezing. 
If you work at Pokemon and gain experience, I think you'll make an extremely good trainer. My kid May is also studying Pokemon while helping me out. Shepard, don't you think it might be a good idea to go see May? Yes, I do. Great. May should be happy too. It made it teach you what it means to be a trainer. Alright, so I guess we're gonna go do that. Now, what the randomizer does is it completely randomizes everything. That includes starters, wild Pokemon. You can find, like, a legendary. You can find a Lugia in Tallgrass. It's just here. Like, okay, yeah, let's see what we get. Now this. This ain't normal. This is not normal. At least I got a type that's... Uh, actually, Maze... Let's see, Maze Pokemon is going to be... I think it's going to be Trico, considering the position I picked, because it, it doesn't matter. It will always... It's always set what the... Uh, oh my gosh, I wish I could catch this. I can't catch it. I'm really mad right now. It's a sad day. Alright, so there's May. It... Pokemon! Oh, it's an Iggly buff. <laughs> you don't see these. <laughs> uh, get out of here. Alright, so there she is, and let's go. Oh, let's see the Pokemon I found on Route 103 include. Oh, hi, Shepard. Oh, but I see my dad gave you a Pokemon as a gift. Since we're here, let's have a quick battle. I'll give you a taste of what it's like being a trainer is like. Let's go. I love this music. I'm just gonna let you guys listen to it. Okay, so let's get into the battle. Uh, she has Trico, which means Smog should do an insane amount of damage. There we go. One shot. And it was a critical. Oh, get wrecked. There you go, Betty. I didn't read the text, and I didn't really care to read it. I think I know what that is an eye for you now. I mean, uh, you just got that Pokemon, but it already likes you. You should be able to befriend any kind of Pokemon easily. Well, it's time to head back to the lab. Alright. Since we're on an emulator. Whee! There's Shepard Shepard over here. Let's hurry home. Whee! Oh, get stuck on a wall. Alright, so let's head in here. Oh, hi, Shepard. I heard you beat May on your first try. That's excellent. May's been helping me with my research for a long time. May's an extensive history as a trainer already. Here, Shepard, I ordered this for my research, but I think you should have this Pokedex. There we go, we got ourselves a Pokedex. The Pokedex is a high-tech tool that automatically makes a record of any Pokemon you meet or catch. My kid, May, goes everywhere with it. Whenever my kid catches a rare Pokemon and records its data in the Pokedex, why, May looks for me while I'm out doing field work and shows me. Oh, wow, Shepard, you got a Pokedex too? That's great, just like me. I got stuff for you too. And there you go, she gave us Pokeballs. It's fun if you can get a lot of Pokemon. I'm going to look all over the place because I want a different Pokemon. If I find a cute Pokemon, I'll catch them with Pokeballs. Alright, now there's one more thing I want to do in this episode before we end things off. And that is get one more key item. And guess what? She gives it to us. Hey, Shepard, Shepard, did you introduce yourself to Professor Birch? Oh, what an adorable Pokemon. <laughs> I think that's funny because I got a freaking wheezing. You got it for Professor Birch, how nice. Your father's, you're your father's child, all right. You look good together with Pokemon. Here, honey, if you're going out on an adventure, wear these running shoes. They'll put a zip in your step. Shoe puns! Shepard, those shoes came with instructions. Press the B button while wearing these running shoes to run extra fast. Slip on these running shoes and race into the great outdoors. Welcome to OnStar. <laughs> and there's just dots. To think that you have your very own Pokemon now. Your father will be overjoyed. But please be careful. If anything happens, you can come home. Go on, go get him, honey. Alright, now with the newest edition of the running shoes and with us getting our wheezing, I think we're going to end this off here. So next time on the Pokemon Emerald Randomizer Nuzlocke, we are going to be heading out into the world and catching our first two Pokemon, I think? Well, see you guys then.